Oh, that's so revolting. In the Netflix movie, Harry and Meghan's dark secrets of lying and cheating were revealed. Greetings, and a hearty welcome to the British Royal News on YouTube. Harry and the actress have been caught in yet another fib today. It's not the first time that the media has focused on Dim Harry, and he doesn't appreciate it. One of the most divisive images from Netflix's highly anticipated documentary is of Harry and Markle allegedly being hounded by the press at an event they both skipped five years before they even met. The black and white photo appears to show a large number of paparazzi all pointing their cameras in the same direction indicating that the couple was being pursued by the media at the time. Last Thursday, a trailer was released with this image playing in the background as Harry says, I had to do everything I could to protect my family. But the photo was actually taken at the Harry Potter premiere, where invited photographers captured the event attended by stars like Daniel Radcliffe and Emma Watson, though not any members of the royal family. The red carpet event of 2011 occurred five years before Harry and Meghan were formally introduced in 2016. Another picture, cropped to remove Chelsea Davy and give the impression that it was taken recently, shows Harry holding up his hand as if to ward off photographers. In reality, the photo was taken years ago, when Harry was still with Chelsea. The paparazzi have never been particularly enthusiastic about Meghan and Harry, which is why they use backgrid, right? Even more obviously fabricated photos from long before his encounter with the trailer trash were included. Similarly, you should nt believe everything you see in those purportedly private, intimate black and white, and color. Photos. Clearly, someone else took them, and I am positive it was a full photo shoot by Netflix with professional lighting, directing, makeup, wardrobe, etc. It's not a particularly personal experience to see how OK or Hello spread is made. Megan spent a great deal of her life on her knees or back, telling men that they were wonderful when they weren't. It helped her get where she is now, but unfortunately, everyone else, including most of the men she used, knows the truth. Even in the first trailer for their reality show, they already have a history of being unreliable. Additionally, misusing visuals. How did the nosy strangers who took those intimate photos of them crying and distressed in their home get their hands on them, by the way? Either a photographer was invited inside or they themselves set up a tripod and cried in front of the camera. There's no way they don't realize by now that well be picking apart every last lie in this elaborate hoax. After doing all this lying and scheming, they have the gall to say they want to make peace with the family. It's clear that just when I think they can't be more dishonest, they go and do something even more dishonest. They just dropped the brand new teaser for their forthcoming Netflix show. When I first heard about these vicious attacks against Harry's family, I assumed that Meghan was using him as a pawn, but now it seems that Harry is actually doubling down and being fully complicit. It's a shame he's involved. This is the next level of playing the victim. Pretending to be popular just to put yourself under undue stress. Then the foolish witch says, listen to our story from us when the stakes are this high. Despite knowing it won't help, she keeps lying anyway. I thought she said they needed only one plane to go down for them to ascend to the throne. Still, the king hasn't publicly disavowed them. King Charles needs to do what is obviously right, but he and his courtiers are too afraid of being labeled racist by that narcissist in her purse to take action. They ought to kill them off for good this time by making public all the information they have collected. More lies will be released from them after the film and the book are published. Keep in mind that they are completely dependent on this income. It is time to remove the cancer. Meanwhile, Netflix is making enormous efforts to win over an audience, but smart people on this platform, and others, are constantly pointing out the flaws in their logic. The problem with this Netflix series is that people will immediately begin believing every false claim made about it. And then Netflix will find out just how badly they were lied to. Could it be that Netflix is spreading misinformation? Markle has to call and arrange for a photographer to be there. No one bothers to follow her around just to take her picture, and I think that's her problem, not anyone else's. Furthermore, she is not well liked because everyone knows she is a phony and a con artist. Another problem is on the horizon. The pictures appear to have been taken in 2020 in restricted areas of royal palaces like Buckingham Palace. 
Because of safety concerns, photography is prohibited. William has promised that he will appear in each and every one. Before things get even messier and the palace calls in the lawyers, my recommendation is that Netflix cancel this mess. No one should try to pass off a stolen image as their own in this day and age of internet. Google Images, Bing Images, and probably dozens of other search engines I am unaware of. Internet streaming service Netflix, you have my utmost contempt. Recognize that deciding to join them was a mistake. Produce shows that people want to watch, and you may be able to get your profits back on track. And every time I read something about this couple, I wonder if they can tell the difference between fact and fiction. I don't know what they expect to achieve by criticizing the royal family, and Harry really needs to mature. Harry has enjoyed the kind of privileged upbringing that most people can only imagine. Was it ideal? No, but it was better than most people's. Second, his mother passed away when he was very young, but he is now a grown man with his own family. The death of a parent doesn't have to be the end of the world for many young children. He wed a woman who is ruining a country's tradition that has been upheld for over a millennium and a half in order to become the most famous woman in the world. As far as I've seen, Meghan always manages to steal the show at any royal family function. Why she can't be content with what she has and move on with her life drama free is beyond me. Now what? If the palace finds out, I hope they can do something. Did Netflix get approval to use the image? I am sure the palace has dozens of people watching Netflix and reporting back to King Charles and Prince William's inner circle every day about the garbage they're seeing. I've had it with the conversations, so I haven't been listening. The humiliation that Lady Hussey is experiencing is unconscionable. That the royal family didn't back her up surprises me. There wasn't even time to take a deep breath between each step. There was zero justice served, but I also missed the court proceedings concerning the perjury. In my opinion, the royal family is thinking far into the future. Slow but sure, the monkey will get you. It's best to just let them rant and give them enough rope to hang themselves. No one believes a word that comes out of their big mouths. He still can't stop talking about his mother, who he seems to have forgotten was also William's mother. Put an end to her suffering already. She is a complete and utter fruit loop, this megamouth. What about you? So, let me ask you this. Do you agree with me? If so, please like and share my video with everyone who could use it right now. If not, let me know why in the comment section. You can find more entertaining videos produced by our staff by subscribing to our British Royal News on YouTube. Once more, I appreciate you tuning in. I'll be back tonight.